What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And as you can see, we're back on some more Ark Survival Evolved. Because I am going to be showing you how to get all the new items that came with the Genesis DLC in any map that you want. As you can see, I am rocking some really cool gadgets. At the moment, I'm going to be showing you all the codes that you need. I'm standing on a new item as well. Pretty, pretty cool. But before we get into it, I want to quickly mention all these codes that I am using at the moment work perfectly on single player, but they will work on multiplayer, non dedicated, or dedicated servers. But you will have to add a single word before every code that I give you. And that single word is cheat, then leave a space. That's all it is. A lot of people ask me, oh, the code's not working. It's because you're on a non-dedicated server or a dedicated server. So you don't own the server. So that means you have to put the word cheating before every command. I thought people would just got that by now because Ark has been out for a long time. Put the word cheat before every command. If you're on a non-dedicated server or a dedicated server, keep that in mind. So yeah, we got a lot to go through. There's a lot of really cool stuff, and I like showing off a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get through it, shall we? Booyah! So we're gonna start off with some of the like the boring ones first, and we're gonna get more exciting because a lot of these new items are actually really, really cool and really fun to use. Uh, but first off, the code you're going to want is right here. First code, GFI space, tech alarm, space one, space zero, space zero. Really easy and short. Type it in, press it, and you'll get this guy right here. There you go. That's how easy it is, and it's just this little guy. Uh, you can pick these up, so don't worry about placing them down. If you place them the wrong way or nothing, you can quite easily just pick these up. But if you just read about it, uh, there's the, basically the description. Advanced detection and action system used to automate nearby devices and structures. Requires a tech generator to power it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> The next code is on your screen right now. This is a GFI space pressure plate. Leave a space zero, uh, one, leave a space zero, leave a space zero. So you can tell already, this is the pressure plate that can activate things. So we whacked it in our inventory. Here it is. Here it is. This is the pressure plate. Now, as you can see, you can place this basically anywhere on the floor doesn't have to be on a structure you can just place it on the floor with right it let's read the proper description shall we here you have it a mechanical trigger that activates nearby nearby devices and structures when stepped on so it's basically the same thing as the sensor but it only activates if someone steps on it if there's a pressure on it that's why it's called a pressure plate okay it can quite easily be concealed in the dense brush yeah, okay, you could do if you want to set, if you're building in a forest or something, you could actually try and set this up. As you can see, it does angle pretty well with the terrain. It doesn't go to rocks or anything, but normal terrain, it'll angle pretty well. So you can pretty much place it anywhere, but quite just here, we'll look up. It's not that noticeable. So if you are trying to pick you up, if you are trying to do this in a forest or something It'd be pretty pretty cool to set up a bunch of traps uh, but yeah that's the pressure plate to the more exciting things i call the exciting things anyway so here is your next code gfi space hover skiff space one space zero space zero now this is basically just a giant hovering platform people carry a kind of thing it is a vehicle but it hovers, which is pretty cool. And once you spawn it in, it will say unassembled uh, hover skiff, but don't worry about it. As soon as you place it, it's in my hotbar at the moment. If you, when you place it down, it will just assemble itself anyway. So it's in my hotbar. We're gonna press it and boom, there you go. This is the tech hover skiff, as you can see. Pretty cool, just element. Your tank will go up. And so yeah, and then you just fly around, do whatever, it's... Honestly, I don't know what you'd really use it for, because it's not particularly 
that good. You can build on it, but not not very good build on it. Uh, it hovers literally anywhere for a pretty long time, which is pretty nice. You'd probably use it for transporting a lot of people, maybe to a raid or something. Um, but I tried to build on one before. Uh, I think it's over here. And I'm going to show you what you can actually build. So this is it. That's the max you can go to. Which is pretty darn dumb. It's a tech it's a tech hover thing. You'd think you'd, you'd be able to build more in it. But that's literally it. That's as max you can go. You can't go any more backwards or any more forwards. Any more left or right. That's the max it can go. Which is kind of dumb. I mean, hoping for something tech wise that you could build like massive structures on. That can go on land or sea or hover in the air instead of just a dino because we got the raft we got the speedboat and then i thought yes this would be something you could build on but no anyway moving on that's just sad to see i really really had high hopes for it but nope so let's just move on i'm just constantly gonna move on so next we are coming to the weapons these are some of best that they have ever given us and it's really really cool so first we're gonna show off this guy right here gfi space shoulder cannon space one space zero space zero now this is a tech gadget as you can see it's right here bum, bum, bum. now unfortunately i haven't got my shirt on but it's still right there so let's chuck my guy down at the moment sorry i did uh, we want to take a good look at this ish so it's quite reasonably there even with my shirt off let's get it up so it has got zero fuel in it but you can just easy fuel it up with element like so so let's read the description for it shoulder mounted energy weapon with configurable targeting and firing modes equip this uh, requires learning its tech ingram so everything tech you will need to learn the tech ingram for I am in creative mode, so it gives me all the Ingrams anyway. Be advised, to use this, you will need... Stop begging. This guy is annoying. He just begs constantly. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. You will need to learn the tech Ingrams. Unlock the tech Ingrams, sorry. To actually use this. So let's just put on our tech suit. This guy's actually followed me. So you got the jetpack. It kind of... It kind of does stick out a bit. It looks a lot newer than the tech armor. Uh, so yeah, once you've spawned it in and you've learnt or unlocked the tech engram, to activate this shoulder cannon, you're going to hold your Y button in, or I believe it's the triangle button on the PS4, I don't have a clue what it is on PC, uh, but as you can see, when you hold it in, you get this other wheel of options, so activate, change the fire mode, the range, so yeah, and who you want it to target. Now you can't, you don't control this cannon. It controls itself. It automatically targets things and fires things. That's why you have a different one. So you can activate it. You can hear a slight little hum. As you can see, it just targets everything. It shoots anything, even when it's friendly. Which is kind of annoying. See, it's locked onto it. But you can change the targets, obviously. So here you go. Here is the targets. You can put it on wild creatures only. Which I have now done. Uh, and then you got different rates. you got rapid fire, standard fire, then overcharge. I don't know what overcharge is, but it sounds deadly. So let's to move on to something that's better bit more reliable so next code mortals next code is this one right here gfi space tech cruise missile space one space zero space zero now if you watch the trailer for the genesis dlc you will already know what this is this is the missile that you can control this is it. This is humongous. This is so, so big. As you can see, look at this. Absolutely immense. Really, really cool, though. Really cool design. And then when you fire it, you get to control it. It's pretty simple. This is more like a scout more than anything. 
because it has a decent fuel range on it but you can still go into orbit mo orbital mode like this and you can check out the missile itself it looks really cool and zoom out zoom in really cool but then you can just leave it if you so wish so you can target it then leave it if you want to entirely up to you or you could just use all the fuel but let's move on so this is the next code that you will want mortals g f i leave space tech clause leave a space one leave a space zero leave a space zero boom now we have our tech clause which are these booyah huh. Huh. yeah defensive and then attack it's quite actually it now you can leave your trigger pressed in like I'm doing and it'll just constantly attack you can sprint and attack. You can jump and attack. Over Raptor, come here. So we did some damage, but not a lot. We need something that's going to fight back. Dillo, here you go. Ha! So, it, they don't seem to do a lot of damage. This is a 120, but... I don't know if... Just speed up over time. No, I don't think it does. So that's the claws. They look pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool melee weapon. That's about it. They show them off in the trailer and they look really cool. But, yeah. One of those. And they do take up a slot in your, in your hotbar as well. They don't go on the suit itself. They actually take a slot up in your hotbar. Kind of sad. The next code you mortals are going to want is this one right here so this is gfi space jump pad leave a space one leave a space zero leave a space zero and you can just tell by the code it's the jump pad it's the tech jump pad now these are really 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 cool i have messed around with these quite a bit because it's literally place it down activate it <coughs> and then just have fun Especially what it is. Just have fun. It takes no fuel. You don't need nothing to power it. It's just go ahead, have fun with it. So you can change the jump pad settings to the force. You can increase it, decrease it. Very nice. You can increase the pitch in your as you can, so you can go different directions. You can even set it to down line of sight. So if you're like, okay, I want it to go that direction, over there, you just come onto it, go to the jump pad settings, and go to rotate to sights, and boom, and now it's just gone over there. But you said, yeah, okay, I don't want it quite, like, directly over there. I want it to go up a bit. You can do this and, like, pitch it down, so it does that. Uh, really cool. And then walk on it, and you get flung over. Really cool. Uh, so you can set these up. You, these can go literally anywhere. You can pick these up as well. Not like a so. But you can put these anywhere. Look at this. You can put them on top of normal rocks. Uh, any angle. Really cool. Okay, we're out of placement range. But yeah, you can place them anywhere. Boom, 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 boom. Sideways, whatever. So... You can set these up in a line so they can fling you from place to place. I'm going to go to my base where I've actually set up a bunch of them. So I'm, because I'm stuck on this island, I always get sick of getting over to the mainland because I either take a, a, a dino or a fly to get over there. But now I don't have to. I can just go into this jump pad. I can walk along my bridge uh, and just walk into this jump pad. So if I just walk onto here... Like so, I can now just leave my controller. I'm not actually touching my controller, it's actually put down. But I've just been bounced from jump pad to jump pad all the way over that ocean. And now I'm back on the beach. Now I can set up one the other way that takes me all the way back. But you could set these up so you could jump up to high places. You could try and get to a, like a metal node that's really hard to get to. I could set up jump pads that could jump me from here onto a, 
a jump pad that was there onto another one that was over here and just carry on up the mountain there's just so many uses for this for the jump pad which is just so so good and I really do love it I've got multiple set up here as well instead of stairs I don't use stairs I use jump pads now that's like my aviary where I keep all my flyers and everything uh, so I've set up a jump pad that can quite literally just go up there so I jump onto this jump pad it launches me up here and boom, I have got access to all my flyers and everything. And it's really, really cool. And that's because you don't take no fall damage from a jump pad. It's really cool. But if you just want it to look really cool, I don't know if this this won't work now first time. I, I'll walk into this one and you can just land on another jump pad. And you can actually set it the energy level so low that it will just cushion your fall like this one just did. I won't bounce you nowhere. So yeah, I've set these up everywhere. They, these can get you anywhere that you want to go in your base. Stairs are just gone. Jump pads, all the way. Over here. Oh, look, I'm on here now. <laughs> awesome. I love these guys. I really do. Uh, but anyway, mortals, that is the jump pads. Really, really cool. And... Back on my walkway. But anyway, we're going to move on to the next code. So I'm moving on to my, my favorite, favorite ones now. Two to go. So here is the next one, mortals. GFI Tech Grenade Launcher. Space 1, Space 0, Space 0. Now, this is a weapon that is awesome. This is a grenade launcher. Now, when you're thinking, okay, grenade launcher launches grenades yeah but this is a tech grenade launcher it does not just fire one type of grenade this beast right here will fire every type of grenade that is in arc that's how cool this is so what you're going to need to do is put a bunch of grenades in your inventory Anywhere you like, as long as it's in your inventory. Get this weapon out. Press the shoot button first of all, and it will load them up for you. And kaboom. And now you can just see. Wait, that can we take our hood off? You can actually see now the gun is actually loaded up with every type of explosives that I had in my inventory. And it's even got it on the weapon itself. 3D models of everything. That's super cool. So we've got poison grenades, tech grenades, normal grenades, cluster grenades, smoke grenades, and the attack gravity grenade as well. So we can switch to any type of grenade that we want to throw. Really cool to cycle through them. Really nice. Uh, so we can fire. Kaboom. That's the poison grenade. Now, unfortunately, we'll move on to the next grenade. You can't, like, reload to that grenade. It will not let you. You have to use up your entire... Oh, I don't know what to say. It moves on to... Every time you fire a grenade, it'll move on to the next one. So that was the normal grenade. Now, this is the normal grenade. Then it'll move on to the cluster grenade. Move on to the smoke grenade. And then it'll move on to the tech grenade. And once it's gone full cycle like that, you used all the grenades, you have to press the trigger button again, the fire button, and it will reload them all. Because it only loads one at a time. It doesn't load multiple. That's the only downfall to it. But you can you can switch to any grenade for any use, which is kind of handy. I, I don't know. I love this gun. But last and not least... Uh, the last thing you can spawn on any map is this right here. Now, this is GFI Space Mining Drill Space 1, Space 0, Space 0. Now, this is quite literally what it says is this is a mining drill. It will mine. So, here it is. Now, this doesn't say it's a tech mining drill. It literally just says it's a mining drill. And it's pretty darn big. But, yet again, this is fantastic. No, you will no longer need 
a pick or an axe to go mining with. Just take this bad boy along with you. And you're sorted. It takes uh, gas or fuel, obviously. But this thing is phenomenal. So, booyah. You can actually walk around and it will get everything for you. It'll even get berries, rocks, trees, thatch, wood, everything that you want. This does it for you. As long as you don't sprint with it, it won't go away. It's amazing. Yes, it does overheat, but look at the amount of materials that I have just got. Just from that little run. It's absolutely phenomenal. I love this thing. So, so good. Out of all them rocks, I got 108 metal. What I'm quickly going to do, I'm going to go to an actual metal node and some other nodes right on top of the volcano right here. Let's start this bad boy up again. Boom. Crystal. Rare mushrooms. Metal. Just, just everything. Everything is mine. Everything. Every single material without stopping and starting. I can just quite happily just go along. Go. Boom. That's mine. This is mine. That's mine. And just fill up with everything. Everything. Look at the amount of metal I got. Absolutely phenomenal. So, you've seen my two favourite. They are the best by far. The grenade launcher and the mining tool, in my opinion, are the best by far. Now, there is one other item that you can spawn, but I do not recommend it because it will extremely lag your game out or extremely drop your frames a lot. And I mean a lot. Now, I'm going to show you at the end of the video, which is right here, just because of what actually happens to it. So, the last code is right here. Now, this has to be some kind of coding glitch or problem, but it's GFI space fishing net space one space zero space zero. Now, you can spawn it in quite happily. And it'll spawn in for you and it'll go into your inventory. Like so. We've just got to find it with all this stuff. So that is the fishing net right there. You can put it into your hotbar quite easily. It's when you try and take it out your hotbar, you're going to see. So yeah, I'm going to press left on the D-pad and you're going to notice a big change. So there you have it. That is what happens when you try and equip the fishing net on any of a map. Now, I don't know if this happens on Genesis. I haven't tried it yet, but it does this for you. It drops your frames dramatically. You're getting like one every few seconds. And this just carries on. It doesn't get better till when the animation is finished. It just stays like that forever. Now, you can't press start. The start menu will not come up whatsoever when you, try, when you press the start button. You cannot open your inventory. You cannot move. You cannot do nothing. The only way that I have found around this is because I am an Xbox. I can press the Xbox button. will bring up the Xbox menu. I'll show you. Like so, like this. And then the game is forced to go on the start menu, the pause menu for ARC. And then, unfortunately, you have to go to the main menu. But the game will load back up normally. You will have no glitches. It should load back up successfully. And the net will be out and you can use it. Yes, this is really, 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 really can't get my words out really weird you'll have your fishing net in your hand your game will be running fine you can use your fishing net you can really in and everything but if you put it away and pull it back out the same thing will happen so just keep that in mind so mortals i'm going to leave it there hope you enjoyed hope it helps and i'll hopefully see you in the next video